Hey there, just continuing with this raw training. As I said, just woke up wanting to work on my site and I thought I'd just shoot it totally unprepared. Uh, purpose of this video is to show you uh, how cool Thrive Themes is. I've done my home page, I'm going to make that live, and now I'm going to update my blog sidebar uh, sign in. So just uh, excuse my appearance, no pretty boy videos here today. Um, no makeup required. <laughs> Just raw training. So um, you can see here I've added my text now. So this is what it looks like. Oh, I think it looks really cool. I've I put the, the, the opaque black background. I've modified my button. Thrive gives you really cool pop-ups. I really, I really like that pop-up. Um, just in case you're hearing some grinding in the background, uh, one of the disadvantages of an outdoor office in Vietnam is that they're always building stuff. So... Excuse there any noise coming in in the background there. Apologise. Okay, so I'm going to make my homepage live. I took out that second element I put in. Uh, if you're watching this for the first time, you, you can catch the other episode on my, my blog. All I'm going to do um, to make my homepage live um, is I'm just going to come down to my settings. I'm coming down to my reading settings. Um, and I'm going to just select a new home page here. So I think I called it uh, home page new December. Uh, I'm going to hit save changes and then I'm just going to go to the anti-marketer and just check uh, my title stays the same because I'm using Yoast. Um, so that all looks good. Click on that. I've tested the sign up already. Um, brilliant. Okay. Next point of call is I'm going to replace my old sign up in my blog here. I'll just pause my uh, Dropbox here. Okay, this blog sign up. Um, as I said in my previous uh, video, I'm replacing the lead magnet, so I wasn't really happy with the performance. Um, and okay, so this is where we go. Uh, I'm going to use the Thrive Leads feature. Okay, now I'm going to create a lead group, add new, I'm going to call it my online biz starter uh, sidebar. I'll just copy that because I think I've got to create a form. The purpose of lead groups, you can have multiple forms in here and split testing and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to do that, but you can see there, sorry, I, I want to add a new form here. Uh, and look at the different types of forms you can put in. Really cool stuff. Um, slide in stuff. So I'm going to put in a widget. Um, and I can have different widgets appear on different categories if I like, uh, which is really cool for your list segmenting. But for this purpose right now, I'm just going to go create my form. Call it the same thing. Online biz sidebar. Um, there we are here. Go and add my form now. So Thrive will give you a whole bunch of different uh, layouts. and I, I don't know, I kind of uh, like a layout with a picture in it. Um, and I, I'm just thinking out loud, I, I probably would have gone for this one, but I, I might go for this one because I've got that really nice image on the home page. That's the old home page. I've got that really nice image and I might bring that into my sidebar uh, branding as well. So it flows. So I'm going to choose that. Um, Okay, so if I click on that, here we go, I can change the image. So let's get rid of that image. I'm going to add my road. Okay, um, and I can see the placement there isn't great, but this is a great feature. And so I'm going to stick it in the middle. I'm going to place it in the middle. Um, if, I, if I don't like how that's appearing, I can, let's see if I can move it up or down. doesn't change it. Okay, I won't make it a static background. Okay, so um, let's uh, do something here with the text. Um, let's make it white for starters. Okay, it stands out. That's not too bad. Um, uh, 
I just need to make it the font of my uh, blog. My blog uses Open Sans and Lato, so um, oops. just try Open Sans. Yeah, that's not come up too bad. Um, just squeeze that in a bit because I'm going to um, now put. I don't like all this spacing here, too big of blocks, but um, uh, let's see, I want to put a bit of room at the top. Um, and I want to, uh, get my image, okay, uh, what's done there? Just have a look here. Ah. Okay. Um. Oops, wrong, wrong element. Click on my picture. Let's make it a bit smaller. And let's put it in the center. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. So let's change our form now. Um, lead generation. I, I, before I connect it to my list manager, I want to edit the form elements. I want to come in here and on the fields, see the padding's just too big. So I click on that thing in the middle, I can change them all. Let's just make them all 10. Oh, that's no good either. Make it 10. Let's get that spacing. Just make the top and bottom a bit bigger, 20, perhaps. 20. Not too bad. Uh, the font, open sands, let's make it. Oh, not light height, sorry about that. Um, okay. So I just want to change the font size here. Um, okay, then I can probably change the padding. Um, I'll just notice the emails first. I might, I might put the, I might just move that up. That's what I love. Just drag and drop. Everything's drag and drop. It's just wonderful. Um, let's come back to my lead generation form. Sorry, I can always muck around. Oh. Okay. So now I've made the font bigger. I just want to make that padding smaller again. Um, so let's go 10, 10, just depends whatever you, you want to look like. Uh, let's get that button. Um, let's make the font size on the button bigger. Sign up. Maybe I'll put, change the words to download. Um, change the button, something that might just pop a little nice bit of red. I should I should be using my branding guide. Uh, I must admit I am lazy when it comes to that. Um, so uh, if you if you get a good branding consultant, if you want one, uh, I know someone who's really good. Um, she gets a little frustrated at me because <laughs> I don't follow my own rules. But anyway. Beauty about running your online business is you can do what you want. Okay, I'm not hurting anyone. Maybe just the fashion police. Okay, so I, I think that's a really cool cyber. I, I, I'm going to make this stand out a bit more. I'll show you what I'll do there. Um, I'm just going to remove the. Just make it a bit smaller at the bottom there. Make the margin a bit less. Uh, I think that's really cool. Okay, let's just, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a gradient in there. Black to white's cool. I want it darker at the top. And then, of course, it's covered my picture. So on each element of the gradient, like on the white going down, I'm going to make it fully transparent. And then on the black, I'm going to make it, Let's see, I just want to make it a little bit blacker, but then I just want to, I don't, 
see how I'm just, there we go. Just make it a bit darker there. Um, might even just, okay, there we go. So I think that just makes that stand up more. Oh, sign up to win. I haven't changed that. Um, where's my tag line? I might just use the tag line. Yeah, that fits. Should have added that in first. Um, makes it a bit longer. Not exactly what you need to get started in your online business. I think I'll leave it. I'll see how long it appears on the page. Uh, it can't harm. Okay, so I've done that. I'll quickly connect it to my uh, active campaign. So I do that by clicking there, click on active campaign. Um, now I have cheated here because when I set up my home page, I just copied my links. That's the tag I have set up in active campaign and that's my thank you page. So I just go online business starter, that's the list. There's a form I set up in active campaign already because remember I copied it from my um, my freebie page and that's the tag because uh, I have a little sequence that runs after name and email address brilliant and then my post opt-in action I want it to redirect to a URL which is my thank you page so that thank you page I've got a little upsell on that page um, and I designed that before because uh, I've been promoting this lead magnet so just a really simple upsell a video that plays it's taking its sweet time to load up uh, seven dollar upsell so I'm going to do that here and of course I'll test the sign up so that's it that's my sidebar widget done using thrive leads um, uh, so I'm going to exit out of that now and go to my widgets here um, okay so what I want to do here uh, you can see it displays immediately on page load you can have it coming in afterwards there's all sorts of features with this but I want to go back to the actual main leads there, so I click on that uh, breadcrumb there. There it is there, and it's saying, um, I don't know what to do with this, you haven't set anything up. So I'm going to click on the settings, and I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to put it on all posts and my blog index. Um, but this is where you can select, okay, for these categories I want this sign up, for this category I want a different sign up, you can do all sorts of it. I'm going to put on all posts in my blog index, save and close. Um, and what I should see there now, when I go to my blog, I should see the two signups because uh, this one's quite an old one and I set it up using a different method. Um, so let's go here. Okay, it's not appearing. I don't know why. Ah, okay. Display on desktop and display on mobile, on and on. Okay, lovely. So let's try again. I'll go into a form. Okay, it's not working for me. Let me just check that. The disadvantages of doing things raw, I suppose. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I. I thought it might have had something to do with my caching, uh, my caching, uh, but uh, I, f I figured out, I forgot to, uh, when you go to appearance widgets, you actually have to add your Thrive opt-in uh, there as well. So if you see, you've got a Thrive Leads widget. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to drop that in. I'm going to delete my previous uh, Thrive opt-in widget. Um, and uh, I actually, I won't get rid of it. I um, with with uh, WordPress, you can drag it down here to your inactive widgets. Um, that remove it. Didn't seem to. Oh well. Uh, but anyways, I can set it up again if I need to. Uh, but I, I like the Thrive Lead widget better. So now, if I refresh. Um, Like I said, it's unprepared. Okay, I just tell it which lead group I want because uh, it, it, you can have multiple lead groups, uh, whatever, whatever you want there. So I hit saved and 
away we go that pops but the only thing uh, I've noticed here is this is a bit skinnier than I had anticipated so I'm going to go in now and just just make that font smaller um, just so it looks a little nicer and that's what you have to do always with designing uh, again it's why I love Thrive because it's just it's very dynamic um, I don't need to go and get graphics modified uh, I'm just going to come in here uh, edit my widget there's the form there okay so we're just going to make this font size a bit smaller see it doesn't look so great here um, but it uh, it will on the sidebar um, let's get these edit form elements uh, I just want to make font size let's just make it 20 a little bit smaller uh, font size make it 22 um, let's hit save okay so let me refresh my actual blog sidebar here there we go it's a little bit better it's brought it up I'm going to remove some of this space at the top um, and just the spacing of the form I just want to make it a little bit more friendlier here so um, let's just go back in here it is here I'm in the form there so what I want to do make that spacing five and five this button five and five. So let's just save that and I also save and close out of that element. I just want to uh, that heading it's got a margin of 19. I'm just going to bring it up a bit. Uh, this book, let's bring it, just squeeze it up a bit. I don't think I'm breaking any. I, I, I know um, with design you want to give things a place to breathe. Um, I don't want to move as much up. There we go. See, that stands out quite nice. I could probably bring that shading down a bit. Um, so let's try this. Just put in a dummy email that I'll go and delete later. Boom. There we go. And then I can go into like my list manager and uh, check that that all found its way, which I know it has because I've tested it a million times with my other signups. Um, so uh, what we've done today uh, in the previous video. I showed you how quick and easy in 17 minutes without any prep I rejigged my home page uh, there quite easily and uh, we've also added a new sign up to, to the blog sidebar there so there's a couple of things that I want you to do and I'm going to move my head I'm not enlarging my picture because I, <laughs> I look quite horrible really but um, you're going to see something come up there that's subscribe subscribe to this channel uh, and you'll get lots more tutorials as I release them but also uh, that way down the bottom there's some more you can click to see YouTube love it if you watch more videos so do that but if you if you're really not into doing this yourself you want some expert help and care to do it I've got many options I've got a great group called the online business breakthrough group but we also from time to time have availability for our team to work on your stuff so uh, there's a link below that you can contact us uh, you can book a free consultation uh, if there's any slots available uh, and I'd love to hear from you.